Today at Nine Rings Woodcraft, we need to frame this load-bearing wall to accept a shower niche like this one, without the ceiling collapsing on our heads. Stick around to find out how we did. Before ever cutting studs, figure out if your wall is load-bearing. If the ceiling joists rest on top of and run perpendicular to a wall like they are here, it's almost certainly load-bearing. I jammed a pair of 2x4s under the ends of the joists to support them while I cut out the actual wall studs. With the bracing in place, I marked out the locations of all the studs I would need on the bottom of the wall. The king stud runs floor to ceiling on the outside of the opening. Jack studs are secured to the king stud and run to the top of the rough opening or the bottom of the header. These studs are what actually carry the weight of the header and everything above it. The studs in between the jack studs get cut to the height of the bottom of the shower niche, minus an inch and a half for the sill 2x4. It's worth mentioning here that these are all for the rough opening. Remember when building yours that the actual dimensions of your shelf will be about three quarters of an inch smaller in every dimension because you need to account for a half inch backer board, mortar, and then tile. So plan to make your rough opening about an inch and a half larger than the finished opening will be. I actually installed the king and jack studs off camera because I needed to get them in before the plumbers installed the shower valves, which sit just below this niche. But they're easy. Just make sure they're spaced where you want them and secure plumb. I used the Dovo laser level to mark a horizontal line where I needed to cut out the remaining studs to make sure that they were precise. Dovo isn't sponsoring this video, but they did send it to me to try out for free, and overall I'm impressed. If you're looking for a quality laser level that's bright enough to use outside in the daylight, then they're offering 15% off. There's a link and a promo code in the description, as well as some links to the other tools that I used in this project. And while you're down there clicking on links, consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. Then I cut out the two studs that were in the way, removing the top paces completely. The bottoms I left in place, they'll be my lower cripples. I trimmed a sill piece and nailed that into place over the bottom cripples. A nail gun and a compressor is worth every penny when you're doing a project like this. Then I cut two pieces of 2x10 down to the width of my header. 2x6 would have been fine for this application, but I had 2x10 scraps left over, so I used those instead of cutting down a new full board. One thing to keep in mind is that two pieces of 2x material are 3 inches thick, but the wall is 3.5 inches thick, so you need to sandwich a piece of half inch plywood between the two pieces of the header board to get it to the right thickness. These should all fit pretty tight. There's a major difference between 3 eighths of an inch and 5 eighths of an inch, as I discovered by measuring wrong the first time. With the header screwed into place, cut the cripples for the top. Again, these should fit snug. If you don't have to hammer them at least a little bit into place, they're probably too loose. There should be cripples on each end of the header and then along the header in line where the cripples are below. And with that, it was done. I knocked out the bracing I'd installed, hit all the nails I couldn't reach because the bracing was in the way, and stood back as pride turned to horror as I realized that the work had only just begun. Now it's time to add the wallboard and tile, which will all probably take a lot longer than framing the niche did. But that's a problem for another day. <laughs>